Okay, so we're doing this page right here, which is the back of the front cover. You can do anything you want. You can put a big envelope, you can put a whatever you would like to do, you can do. If you do print your background, any of them, right? And if you print it borderless, this is what you have. I mean, for example, this is what you could have. All right, I printed it on cardstock, okay? And it takes about the whole page. I actually, it's pretty nice. You know, it's frame like good. So what I wanted to do with that was put two pockets, but I wanted to make a visual. And I thought like, eh, why not, right? Okay, so to do that, I printed three of the same, right? And now I have to figure out how big I want the pockets. So first pocket, I mean, they're gonna be the same width, the, the width of the, so eight and a half, right? Because it's 11 by eight and a half. Okay, so first pocket, we're gonna put about, if I put it right here, it's a pocket that big, right? And then I put the other one here and I have a pocket that high. I think that kind of looks, Good. So, because it's a visual, I'm going to do visual. So I have to kind of cut on the Duke of Wellington. And then this one, if I put it here, I'm going to have to cut about on that little stool right there, right? So the thing is, if you do that, you always keep the bottom part. Don't cut from the bottom up. You cut from the top down. So we said Duke of Wellington. All right. So let's put this here and do the Duke of Wellington right here. Okay. Which is a good thing because then you don't have to measure. You see, you just, oh, I'm going to cut right here. And you do. Am I doing the right thing? Yes. All right. Then you keep that because, you know, you can do so many other things with this, as we know. All right. And this is going to be, oh, and then you play with it until you kind of match, you know, exactly where that should be. So then you see what I'm saying? You don't see that there's a, I love to do the things. Okay. Now this one, we say we cut on the top of the stool. All right. And then you're going to keep this and this somewhere else, right? Because we're not going to deal with that. So I'm going to have two pockets and they're going to be one here. Now, if you line in the bottom, okay, because we didn't touch the bottom part and we assume that the copy just grabbed the paper the exact good way. So if you line up your bottom, you should be exactly right. Now you have to line up your side, you know, so you don't have a little line here, not matching, making you dizzy. Okay. And then you take the last one. You put it down, you line it in the bottom again, and ha, ah, look at that. You wouldn't even being able to say where it was. Okay, that's what I want to achieve here. So I'm still going to do this thing here. Okay, so because I, I, I hate things in the middle, so I'm going to make one on this side and then one on that side, right? Now, this is not going to do anything to your visual because you still have the same paper in the back, right? See what I mean? It is not going to show, even though you have it, like right here, but you cannot really see it, right? Okay, now we're going to put it together and then we're just going to glue it on that. Now, my question is, should I edge or not? It's pretty cool that you cannot see it, but you know, I mean, how cool can you be, right? I'm gonna put a little edging, not too much, just, just a tiny little bit, right? Okay, this is one. I couldn't even see where this one was. Okay. All right, so we got eight and a half wide. We want to keep eight and a half wide. So we're not just gonna glue it down. We're gonna put little strips, all right? So. You're going to need one, two, three. This is one inch and I folded it in the middle for whichever length of what you have, right? Because eventually they're going to get cut. So you need to put one on this side and then cut this and one on that side and then cut that. And maybe I should have enough to do two here. One, yes, yeah, see, I'm going to put one here and then I got enough to put one there, right? So. 
let's say you need three of those strips. So eight and a half by one inch, and then you fold them in the middle. Do you do three strips? You should have plenty. And then you do one, another one is gonna be eight and a half, but it's gonna be two inches and you fold it in the middle. And that's the one we're gonna put in the bottom of this one. Cause this one is gonna go like so, but it's gonna wrap the other two. Okay, so this way nothing falls anywhere. Yes, yes, okay. Okay, and then you place it right at the edge of your paper, all the way down. Okay, and it has, it has to be, you know, loose here, right? And then you cut this. So, I'm gonna angle it a little bit, like so. Okay, and then we're gonna do the same thing for the other side. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna line up with the top right here. And make sure this is really there we go. All right, now we are gonna glue this to that. In order to do so, you just gotta, so you line it up in the bottom, so you know your bottom is right. You line up on the side right here, and then you fold, and then you mark that fold, right? Then you check that you're good on this side, you fold, and you mark that fold. Okay, at this point in time, it'd be good to have like a paper clip or something. So you didn't do all that for no reason at all, right? How about two pepper clips? There we go. Okay, and you're all good. So you are gonna flip around and glue this to that. Yes, yes, glue. You take your paper clips off and then you adjust on that side, right? And that is good to go. And then you flip again and this is exactly where you want it. So what you're gonna do is you are gonna paper clip this side. I mean, it's not easy, easy, but it's not an incredible thing either. Okay, so that's your first one. Second one, you're gonna do just the same thing, right? You're gonna line up in the bottom and you're gonna do the same thing here. Okay, so, all right, same thing, because it should line up in the bottom, right? Okay, so you pepper clip, pepper clip, you're good, you're good, you fold, yes, yes. So you're gonna glue that little strip right there. Okay. I'm gonna do that, and then before we do the rest of it, we get to do the most important part, okay? So, let's not forget, you still have to do your bottom, right? And I almost forgot, all right? So, you get to do your bottom. Your bottom goes right here. And you have one inch right there, okay? So you glue this, in your bottom part. Sorry, I almost forgot I grew. Because, you know, if it's, in, if it's a pocket, things are gonna have to stay in, don't they? All right? So you put your strip right there. Okay, and same thing, you open it, right? Now, let's go back here. We're lining this thing back again, and that is good, right? And we did glue this side. 
So we pop a clip this side. Turn it around and then we're going to glue this to that. All right, and then this is going to cover this way. So this is going to be glued right here. So what's going to happen is nothing that you're going to put in there is going to go anywhere. Yes, yes. Why don't we angle little things a little bit? Okay, now I have this, like this. Am I good? Yes, I am. Can take that off. Yes. All right. Now this is going to go. Do so you realize I have two pockets here? Ooh. It's going to go right here. Yes. So I'm thinking maybe I can add maybe little things later on. Anyway, I'm just going to keep it like that. This is done. I would just have to glue it here. I'm going to Keep it like that just in case I feel like adding up something maybe later on, right? We never know. So I'm just going to keep it here. I know this is taken care of, right? Okay. Because I don't want to spend like, ah, we, we, get, we get six pages to go. Okay. Here, here, I thought we do something like, you know, like this and this, right? So we are going to do those dimension. If you want to take a screenshot, go right ahead. All right, this is going to be on this side here. It's going to be like so from the end. Okay, I'm going to give you my dimension, but maybe your dimension are a little bit different. Just keep that in mind. From the end of that tab to the side of your page, right? In my case, it is six and a quarter, but I'm going to add one inch to that because I'm going to fold it. Okay, so all together, this is going to be seven and a quarter inches, other known as 18.5 centimeter. Yes, I'm going to go up here for four inches, which is 10 centimeters. And on the top there, I'm going to go out three inches, right, which is 7.5 centimeter, which all together is going to give you four inches, which is 10 centimeter. Okay. The height is going to be nine inches, 23 centimeter. So if you want to take a screenshot of that and then we can start cutting and doing it. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to use a background. Why? Because we do have background and I did that background on cardstock. So, okay. Seven and a quarter, which is 18.5 centimeters, right? Height is going to be nine inches. So we go nine inches. And that is 23 centimeters, nine inches right there. Okay. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut from here, from the seven and a quarter, right? All the way up. Okay. Now we keep this because we keep everything. Okay. Now here we cut the height our four inches. We keep this. So we got four inches, 10 centimeters, four inches right here. This is four inches. And right here, we said we're going four inches as well. And it is right here. So what we're going to do now is we're going to line up our ruler from this mark to that mark, right? And cut. All right. So you mark four inches here, four inches here, and then you cut from here to there, right? Now we are good, except we need our one inch here that we got to score. Right here, yep. Done. Okay, and I'm going to fold right there. Ta-da! And I am going to round it up this way. When it's folded, it looks good, right? I'm going to edge a little bit. It is going to go like so, right 
there. So the most important thing for me is going to be to line up on this here, right? And it's kind of lined up with this. So that's a relief. Now, I'm going to glue the bottom all the way across, right? But what's going to happen is because we have the fold, and I want to make sure that this is not going to be too... You know how it gets wobbly? You know what I'm saying? It's like too far from the... Because we got a fold and it's got stuck. If you're afraid that this is going to be a little bit too open, let's say, let's call it that, right? We're just going to do like we did for those. We're just going to put a dab of glue right there at the fold. And what it does is then act like a paper clip, which means when you are going to glue this to this, it's going to stay nice and flat. It's not going to pull up from your sheet. I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, if you don't want to do that, you don't have to. I'm just saying I like to do that because then this way it just lay really nice and flat on the page that you want to put it on. Okay. And then I will glue it all the way here. I will glue it here and all the way across here like so. So then again, I'm going to have two paper clip effect, the bottom part right there because I have that tab so it's gonna hold okay so when you put your paper because this is this is gonna be glued on that right so it's gonna go in that tab okay and then here is gonna go against here but it's gonna be flat it's gonna actually it's like things are not gonna be like swishing all around I sure hope that makes sense okay so this is gonna be this page right got that okay now, this page right here, here, I thought we'd do a belly band, but we're going to use this. So in order to do a belly band, we're going to have to cut a strip in the, the 12 by 12, that pad, the 12 by 12 pad, because you're going to need the most of the length, right? Okay, so you cannot use the small pad. You gotta cut a strip, which is gonna be three and a quarter. So three and a quarter. I round it up, right? I round it all the sides. And it has to go in here, yes. So that's that should be this width, right? And it has to go in, but not all the way in because, you know, this way it's like a belly band that you can actually open up if you wanted to. Or if you want to glue it, you can glue it. But I figured like, you know, why not, right? And then whatever you're going to put in there is going to go in the back here and it's going to hold with this here. And this is here, so might as well use it, yes? So the total... If your page should be 12, right? So the total length on this is gonna be 11 and a half, all right? Now, let me do the centimeter things. 8.2 centimeter and 29 centimeters high, okay? And then we're gonna put it like this. Again, that's an idea. If you want to put another envelope there, you can, all right? And what I'm going to do on that strip, I'm going to glue here for at least one and a quarter, which is three centimeters, okay? And I'm going to put glue, and I mean glue, right? And then I'm going to put it in there, line up with the top, and then glue it down. Same way, because it will be glued here, it's going to lay flat. Yes? Okay, this is going to be this page right here. So this page. Okay, so we do have this tab here. So I was thinking, why don't we do another three tabs, right? But they're not going to they're not gonna be folded in the middle and go on the other side like this one, see? Right? We're just going to do this. Like the same visual than that, right? So we need three of those. And this is going to be one and three quarter inches, which is four centimeters. And here it is going to be 8.2 centimeters. And most importantly, in inches, three and a quarter, which is actually the exact same dimension than this. Okay? So pretty much you want three of those but those are the dimension if you want to take a screenshot go right ahead right but what I wanted to do was glue them so you're gonna take your middle here which is 
12 inches. So that's going to be six. Okay, you figure out your middle right here. Okay, you're going to line up your middle and glue it here. You're going to do the same thing here. I mean, you know how to calculate the middle of something, right? Okay, it's 22 centimeters, so there's going to be 11 centimeters, and it is going to be in inches, four and a quarter, right? So same again. You figure out the middle of this, and then you're going to glue it right here. I'm going to get to the glue application, okay? You do the same thing with this one. Now, this one, okay, you do have here, you have that half inch, right? You didn't want to glue anything on that. That because that's what gives you those things here okay so it those are move this is a moving part so you line up on this line right here your one inch you know strip that you glued on this is where you're gonna line up on and then you're gonna glue it just like this so you're gonna have one two three four of those now the beauty of those, which means you're gonna be able to tuck things here or here or there or here. Right, I thought, you know, this is kind of funny. I mean, funny. Kind of like a whimsical way to go about it, put little pieces of paper here and there. Okay, same thing. When you're gonna put your glue here, you're gonna have to glue at least a half inch, right? Which is gonna be a one and a half centimeter. Because again, if you do that, this is gonna give you a paper clip effect, which means things are gonna stay stuck in it. All right, they're not just gonna fly around. Okay, so that's what I think I will do for this page. So for that page, we are gonna take a piece of cardstock. Then we're gonna do the same dimension than this tab down here, which, hold on a second, just in case we don't remember, is three and a quarter by one and three quarter, eight centimeters by four and a half centimeters. But that's the exact replica of this. And then we're gonna cut a strip, which is gonna be the same width, which is eight centimeters, three and a quarter inch, okay? And the length, which should be seven and three quarter or 19.7 centimeters is right here if you want to do a screenshot but if you don't want let's say you don't want to measure pretty much it has to be the same width than this and this has to be the same length than your page up to the one inch that you glue down so this trip has to just align itself on that little bump there to the end of your page. And that should be seven and three quarter or 19.7 centimeters. Then you're gonna do your extra little tab that you made the exact same one than that. And this one, you're gonna glue right on the top of that one inch flap that you glue down. Yes, now the glue. For this one, you're gonna glue about three quarter down, right? three quarter down, which is two centimeters of glue that you're gonna put right here. And this one here, you're gonna glue one inch of it, which is two and a half centimeters. Actually, you're gonna glue the whole part right here. You're gonna glue it this way. And then you preferably align both of them, which means you are gonna have sideways belly band, but if you want to, you'll be able to take it off and put it back. Now, the last page here is gonna be so easy because I'm gonna have here all the embellishment, right? And then I thought the part of the embellishment, which is gonna be a little bit, maybe not a problem, but I, uh, you know, I don't know really what I want and do I have it. I thought I would take the printout of the list of words, right? And I will cut everything out of that, yes. And I will just glue it on that page. The reason is, is if I'm looking for words, instead of going through all the little cut out and this and that, I can see here what I have. And I thought this is really good because all the other embellishment are pretty forward. You know, you get tags, you get labels, you get this, you get that. I mean, visually, you know what you have. The words, it's a little bit, you really have to look into it. So I thought, you know, I would be like a little blackboard of what you have available. 
I'm gonna just glue this page down right here. And now, because this is where a little bit more fun is happening, we're gonna take care of this, the back cover and this page, right? And then we'll be almost done. Okay, so we're doing the back cover and the last page. Now, back cover, we're gonna put that on the side for a second. This page, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take one of the background and I think I'm gonna put it like so and it will be all nice. This is gonna be the background of this. But we're gonna do a lot of things to it. So first, we're gonna round the corners. So here's the setup. I'm gonna have this like this, right? I'm gonna have envelopes going into there. And most importantly, I'm gonna have a little strip, which is gonna be all the way here, all the way up here with paper clip. Why, why not too? Because then I can clip little thingy things that, you know, anything I want, I'm gonna be able to clip it here. Like some of the embellishment, I'm not too sure. Maybe I use them, then I can put them there. And I think, oh, how useful, right? So this is what's gonna be on the top here. Here, I'm gonna put a strip of cardstock in the back, mind you, which I'm gonna put a slit in it, and you're gonna see why, because this is so smart. Because we are very smart people. And then here, I'm gonna take an envelope, I already made one, right? I use the misprint. Yeah, you're gonna have misprint eventually. This is a good thing. I mean, you have to look at it as a good thing because you can reuse them for other things. So I have this front here and this back here and maybe I'm gonna add up some stuff. But now the thing with envelope, if you're gonna put things in envelope, you know, like you have to reach in. So we're gonna use envelope, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put gussets on the side. This way when you take it and you open it, you can actually see what's in it, right? Why not? What am I using? I'm using those envelopes. As you can see, I broke the bank. I think it was a dollar. So I'm gonna use this. So now what are we doing to the envelope? That's what we're doing right now. Okay, so in order to do that, you're gonna need this, which is gonna be an envelope. You're gonna use some coffee dye paper. You can use any paper you want. This is about the height of my envelope, right? So take your envelope. I mean, this one is, we're gonna hold on because we get to measure everything. It's five and three quarter by four and a half and a little bit more. In centimeters, it's 14 and a half by 11 and a half. But you can really definitely use any little envelope that you have. It doesn't really matter, okay? So you take your envelope like so and then you open it. You take your little coffee dye or whatever other things that you're doing, and then you are gonna cut about the height of your envelope, right? Yes. And then you're gonna cut two strips of two inches. And this is gonna be the easiest thing to do. And then this way, you know, it's gonna be way easier because you're gonna cut your embellishment and then you get to put them somewhere and as we know, they go in a box, blah, blah, blah. We don't know where the box is. And then we found them like a year later. It's like, where were you, right? Exactly. So you have your two strips. You fold them in half. Okay, so you get that. And then you gotta flip back down, right? This way and do the same thing on the other side. Yes, yes. So now you got that little accordion, right? Okay. All right. Now you keep this here. You take your envelope, right? I'm going to take my favorite tool, which is the fish knife. You can take scissors, you can use whatever you have, right? And I'm going to open the envelope. So this way we're not going to spend an hour and a half making envelopes. How about that? Mm -hmm, I'll take it any day of the week. Okay, now you take this, this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna fold it right in the middle like it was before with your little flap on the side like so, right? Now, the way you know it's right is, is if you take a pepper clip, right? And it falls in the middle, yes? Okay, this is how it has to be done, right? 
with the middle going down like that. Gonna take your envelope and you're gonna glue this on that. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna kind of round it, bits making angles which are not the same here and not the same there, just like, I mean you can angle if you want to. All right, and it's gonna go like so, right? So you don't go all the way to the top and you don't go all the way to the bottom. Yes, you know, you, you leave like a little tiny bit. Yes, so you do the same thing for the other side. The other side is the same thing. Where you can put your paper clip down like this, it's gonna be facing you. And it's gonna go like so. So we round it on the inside, right? This side, the side that you're gonna glue on. And it's gonna go like so, right here. Yes, so we're gluing this. When it's glued, this has got to be in. You get to be able to put your paper clip in. Yes, all right, so now we're doing this side. And this side, this is where my paper clip can go and it's gonna go like this. It's gonna be facing me. All right, and then you're gonna put it right here at the edge of your envelope. Yes, yes. So now we have that. Now, if you wanna put something in here, go ahead, if you wanna put something here, go ahead. And then we are gonna glue this. Let me take the, the one that I already made. The one I already made, I put something in the front and then I put something in the flap. I didn't put anything here, okay. So, but I want to cover this. So to cover this, I'm going to keep it this way because it's a lot easier to move around. I have a few other misprint. Anyway, so this is going to be facing me this way, right? So this is the top. And now I'm going to try to figure out where I could put this, that it will be cool. Whoa, that's nice. And then I have the pencil right there. Writing is on the side, that's perfect. So there's no upside. There's no up or down, right? When there's writing, the best bet is to put it on the side. This way you can put it this way or that way. If you put it, you know, either up or down, then... Okay, I trace it. And then you get this inside the line. I'm gonna glue this here and then here. I'm gonna take this and then we glue everything at the same time, right? Round it and call it a day. Okay, now make sure your envelope is the right side up and all of that jazz, right? Okay. All right. So I'm gonna glue this like this and this like this. Okay, and then I meet you, we got two envelopes and then we see what we do with them. Yes, yes. Okay, so I glued my, you know, little embellishment for those envelopes, right? And now you glue this. So you make sure it's flat everywhere here. And you put your glue on both sides. Okay. And then you just put it down. Make sure it's flat in the bottom there. And here you have it. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of time to dry. But this is what you have. Like suddenly, whatever you're gonna put in there is gonna be really accessible. Now, we're gonna work on this. So here, we're gonna put this down. Then we're gonna have to glue this down. And then we're gonna have to think, 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 right? So this is gonna have to be glued here. But is gluing gonna be enough? I'm not too sure. So maybe I'm gonna put a brad here and a brad there, right? This way, I know for a fact this is not going to leave this page. Right here, we're going to do something like this. Now I'm going to show you why. We're going to take a piece of cardstock and we're going to do a slit on it. All right. But what we're going to do first, we're going to glue it in the back of this paper, like so. 
and then we're going to do a slit on it. And what's going to happen with that is you are going to be able to take your envelope. Watch this, right? You have your envelope right here. It's got all the little stuff. You get your little gusset, this and that. And what it's going to allow you to do is to insert your envelope. And here it is. Your envelope is like magically in the air standing right here and then we're going to figure out where we want it and then the second envelope this one is going to go right here okay and then you just put one on the top of the other Ta -da! right that's my plan okay so that's what we are gonna do so we're just gonna mark this is where we want to have the little paper clip right i'm just gonna put a little mark here and a little mark there so when I want to line it up, I know that it's going to have to touch here and there. And of course, we're going to make sure this is straight. As per the strip here, we need to have the slit somewhere here. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a mark on the side. This is where we want the slit. From the slit, you're going to figure out where your, the bottom of your flap goes, and this is how wide this is gonna be. But we are gonna measure everything and we're gonna have it all perfect, right? So, this is gonna be with brads. We're gonna need two brads. Uh, I gotta have to search for that. And this, I'm gonna figure out all the measurement and then this way everybody knows what they're doing. Cool, cool. All right, so we're gonna have to make that strip for the slit okay now as we said it has to be at least as tall as the back of your envelope i don't know which envelope you're using but no matter what your envelope is gonna be the flap of your envelope right you see where i'm here okay then you're gonna need to add a half inch up all right you use your the flap of your envelope to measure from the bottom of your piece of cardstock. You can even trace a line here where your envelope is, and then you need another half inch, okay? And then you cut. In this specific case, okay, this is gonna be eight and a half because this piece of paper here is eight and a half, right? So we want it to cover the whole place. All right, now you have a piece of cardstock in this specific case, which is three and a quarter, eight and a half centimeter by eight and a half inches, the whole width of your paper, which in centimeter is 21 and a half. Now, because you measure your flap like so, and you add it up a half inch right here, you're gonna trace your line and your line should be Again, it's a visual thing, depending which envelope you have. You take your flap of the envelope, put it down your strip of cardstock, flip it, and trace that line right there, right? And you add another half inch. I cannot explain it better than that. I sure hope it makes sense. You're gonna take half of what you have. So in this case, is eight and a half, so it's gonna be four and a quarter. So four and a quarter, you make a mark, and then because you decided that it would be seven inches, or whichever length your envelope is, okay, you, seven inches, half of that is three and a half, so you make a mark here, and then you take three and a half, and then you make a mark here. All right, now we're gonna have to do the slit. I uh, think the best way to go about it is to glue this on this. Now, we did make a mark. We said it should be around here, right? That was your visual, okay? And in this case, the visual said it's about nine centimeters, which is about three and a half, right? So take your page, go down three and a half. We're gonna work on the white side. All right, three and a half. Three and a half right here. And we said that's where the slit we have to be, if I remember properly, right? We said the slit should be there. So this mark right here is gonna be the mark of your slit. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna line up this piece 
You can keep all your little marks there. It doesn't bother anybody. So you're going to light up this piece on your marks. Yes? So this way, this line, which is the slit, is exactly where you wanted it to be. This is making sense? I hope so. Now, we are going to glue it, but this is the thing. You're going to glue. I'm going to do it with you, but I'm just saying. We're going to put glue on the top here. We're going to put glue on the sides here. And this is it. We're not putting any glue here, right? Because your envelope is going to go in it, okay? So if you want to have a visual for your glue application, right? Just make a little line on the side here. And then you know this is where your glue should be. Yes? Okay? So when, you're gonna, when we're going to glue this... On this, we're going to line up this line with the mark that we have on the side. And we're going to glue this, this, and this. Okay? So we're doing the glue, and then we do the slit. Glue. Whew. And I'm gluing this side. Yes, yes. Well, you know, being cautious is a good thing all right you're gonna line the slit line on this line like so and if you line with the side of your paper you should be see exactly right here yes and that is glued and that has to dry okay so, so you have that line right you're gonna take like an eighth of an inch like two millimeters or three millimeters okay and try to have it parallel somehow, about this much. Well, I'm going to trace it and I'm going to tell you exactly what he ended up. And that should be, it's about an eighth of an inch and it's about two millimeters, right? Now, I found out that that's the first thing to do is to do this right there. Okay? Just join those two lines. Cut on those, you know, join those, this line to that line on both sides. All right. And now you're going to cut on the first line and then on the second line. Okay. Don't go like this, right? You go from here to there. Yes? Okay. You press on your ruler, don't press on the blade. Because you press on the blade, you're going to move the ruler. So you press on the ruler and then you slide the blade. As many times as you're going to need to do that until it's cut. And it's way better to do it that way. See, because you make that little cut at the end, it kind of stops your blade, which is a good thing. And I think I'm good. All right. Now I'm going to do the same thing on the second line. Press on your ruler and you glide with your blade. Now, I saw some movement here, so we should be good. Take that little guy like so. And then you have your paper in the bag, right? I mean, it's not surgery, but it could be, right? Try not to pour, okay? Because otherwise it just rip your paper. Okay. Now you have this. Yes? Yes. Okay, so now let's see what it looks like. Whew. So this is going to be like so. We're going to put it like Ta-da! Right? So you have your slit right there, which means that you're going to be able to take your envelope, right? This is going to be glued down, mind you. Not here, right? This is going to be glued down all around. And you're going to be able to insert your envelope just like that. And it is, it is going to be strong enough because you did put cardstock in the back, right? So your paper is not going to rip. That's one of the reasons why we do that. Now we get to do this thing here. So this thing here, and then we glue. This thing here, I took a strip of cardstock in one of the multiple cutouts that I had. So, of course, it's going to have to be eight and a half long, right? Because we're doing on the paper. I made it one and a quarter, which is three centimeters. So, one and a quarter, three centimeters. You can make it whatever you want. I mean, this is just, you know, to say this is what we're doing. And the only thing I'm going to do to it is... I'm going to edge it. All right. All right. Now, 
We say we're going to glue both ends, but we also said mm, we're not too sure about that because, you know, we're going to have paper clips. So I figure we kind of put brads. So this way is really going to stay on. We also got to put glue, but we are going to put brads. Now, strongly suggest you put the paper clip before you actually attach it to the to your background. So anyhow, to make a long story short, we had a mark right here. We said, this is where we're going to put it. So now we know. It's right. See, that's why it's good to make little marks. We want it straight. So we're going to see because again, that was a visual, right? So, all right, we're going to say three quarter down. There's a mark here and three quarter down this way. So which means when we're going to glue it, we're going to line up on this, on this and this. So we're going to glue only the sides and then we're going to put the brads on, right? Right. So first we put the paper clips on. I don't know how many you want to put, you know, leave some space on both ends, of course. Right. Okay. So we're going to glue here and there like so. You line up on your two layer mark. Okay. That looks cool. Now, I strongly suggest you get yourself clippies because we're going to glue, but we want it to stay glued before we put the, you know, until we put the brads. Ooh, I like that. Okay. So we're putting the glue. All right. Then, okay. You realize you're going to put glue on the ends there, right? So put glue on the ends. You know, a good, a good quarter inch, you know, don't, let's not be shy with glue. Okay. I know we're going to put brads, but still. All right. We line up with our little mark and your paper, of course, like so. Exactly right. Okay. And then we're going to do this and then that. And we're going to let it dry. Okay, so now this is glued on both ends. We have to put our brads. We need a pokey. All right, so we poke. Now, oh, oh look at that. It works. Okay, and I'm gonna press them down. There goes number two. They look about right. Okay. All right, and then if I want them to uh, stick really well, I should put a little bit of washi on it, like so. Now, don't use a good washi. Okay, use like stupid washi. I'm just saying. We know we have some of those. Okay, like this, right? And then we are gonna glue on here. In order to glue this on this, Right? We want to be straight. So what we're going to do is put little marks here at about a half inch. Okay? Which is like, I don't know, one point something centimeter. It doesn't matter where, really, but at least so you can line up on something so it's straight. And you are going to line up on this line right here. Not this one, mind you, because this one is a moving part. Okay? Don't forget that half inch is a moving part. Okay? You do not glue anything on there. In the bag here, right here, you're going to write no glue because, you know, we go like this and then we're like, oh, no, I shouldn't have a... Okay, so no glue here. We're going to glue all around here and here. In order to do that and to have it straight, we're going to put our piece of paper in pretty much where it should be. Line up on that side. Reach your mark right here on both ends. So now you're going to fold this and you're going to put your glue right there all the way to in the bottom here, right? And then we're going to undo and take out. Yes. Yes. All right. So I think I need a third hand. <laughs> I need a third hand to undo my glue. Uh, okay. Let's do that. All right. We're flipping this like so. And we're putting the glue. It says no glue. I know it's upside down, but still, you don't put any glue here. And then you put your glue on the side. Okay, on the side there. Yes, and in the bottom here. Because then we're going to catch up from the bottom. Okay, now we take this. We make sure we are on our little mark here. Then we lined up on this side here. Does it look all good? Yes, yes, we like it, done, okay? Okay, 
Now, you take your bottom part nicely. And then you glue whatever didn't get glued. Put it on your paper, don't put it on your cardstock. Put it on the paper. Now, you can flip this. All right. And this page is done. Done, done, done. You did your envelope, whichever one you want to put on the top or in the bottom. You get your little gussets. It's all good. You get, see that look? Bam, right? And then you put this one right here, right? And this is this page. And now what we're going to do is this page, the back cover. Back cover, I'm going to do a big envelope. So... What my plan is, is I'm going to make a big envelope with a window and I'm going to put it right here, right? And then I got a little something for here too. But right now, Okay, so I took my paper pad, right? Eight and a half by 11. This is the small paper pad, the small, you know, small size cardstock, right? I covered it with the background that I want. So you can cover it with whichever background you like. Okay, and then we're measuring things, kind of like visualizing the whole thing. We are gonna, I'm gonna put the, the little prototype envelope here, okay? So you're gonna want your envelope to be about here, right? Don't forget you got a half inch, okay? About here, and then it's gonna be, if I put it here, it's gonna be a half inch higher. Yes, yes, all right, let's just do this. <laughs> Look at that, now we can see something. Okay, so. This is four and three quarter, 12 centimeters, okay? This is eight and a half, eight and a half, which is 21 and a half centimeters. So this is gonna be four and a quarter. This is gonna be the middle, right? So if you guys don't wanna measure, let me tell you, <laughs> let me tell you what it ended up to be. Okay, 10.8. All right, centimeters, all right? And then you're gonna have to do your middle. You wanna go about down here, it's gonna put it up one inch. I wanna put something here. I I'll show you that too, but, so I need some room here. So if I put it here, because it's gonna be the return, it's gonna be a half inch higher. Yes, yes, because I'm telling you, you get to think about everything. So I think about here will be good. We gotta measure as we go. That's, let's do one inch and a quarter. All right, so one inch and a quarter, one inch and a quarter, okay. All right. And then I'm gonna measure here my four and a quarter. Four and a quarter, right here, okay. My envelope is 12 centimeters, other known as four and three quarter. So this is gonna be, I'm gonna need six centimeters on each side. I'm gonna do it in inches, okay? Don't worry. So here to six to 12 in inches. It's gonna be two and three eight, right? And then you go all the way to four and three quarter. Yes, because that's the size of your envelope. As we discussed previously, we're going to have to do a little bit wider. Yes, because, you know, you need wiggle room. So we're going to go a half inch on both sides. I think it's easier to do it that way because then this way you understand why we're doing it that way. And then if your envelope is a different size, then you know how to go about it. All right. So pretty much we're going to we're going to do a slit from here to here. As we said before, it's gonna have to be some kind of opening. So we're gonna do another parallel, very small, like an eighth of an inch. I mean, you can eyeball that. I know you can, right? Got it? All right, and now you're gonna cut from here to here. You're gonna cut the top and then you're gonna cut the bottom as I did before. Okay. I'm going to do this part first and this part second. I mean, oh, if you start with this one, this one's going to be second, right? <laughs> Just saying. All right. Then you're going to take your ruler and then you're going to go first on the first line and then on the second line. All right. And now 
we should be able to take that off. You know, take your time. All right, see, we can all do that. That's really easy. So what's gonna happen now? Ooh, look at that. What's gonna happen now is because you will have glued the back here on your envelope, right? It's gonna slide right in there, like so. It's gonna slide in there and hold your envelope like so. How cool is this? I think so, all right? I wanna show you how exactly this is gonna work. I'm gonna have to glue, why don't we glue that? Okay, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna glue this on here. We said a half inch of glue. And then you're gonna put it on the top of your envelope, like so. Now, of course, you know, you decorate your envelope first and all of that, right? Okay, now this is gonna dry. Gonna put some paper clip. Okay, now, in order to glue this, well, number one, you're gonna have to glue it straight, but that's a given, okay? You are gonna glue. Now, how far does it go down? let's say four inches yes so we're gonna have four inches all right because we on the side of cautious here okay and then do it for yourself because then you know because there's nothing worse than you know thinking about something else and oops right okay so pretty much to here to here and you're right here no glue right okay you're gonna glue everything else yes you're doing it right now but you don't put glue here okay now we are gonna have to put it straight all right and then again just let it dry really good now so you're gonna take this right, which is your flap, which is kind of dry, but not really dry, but I want to show it to you. And then you're going to insert it in the slit, right? And it's going to go down only to that point, right? Ta-da! And then, you know, you can wiggle it, center it, whichever way you need to have it, okay? So it is going to be right here. Now here, this is what happened to me. When I started to look at that kit and I think you kind of guessed that, right? When I was going through the embellishment. Okay, the thing that I really, really, really like were the pens. I really totally enjoyed that. Okay, so what I did too, because those measurements for the envelopes and everything, they're not out of nowhere, is what I did is, let me show you. I did a fast draft of all the embellishment and I cut them all. The reason I did that is at least I knew what kind of dimension I needed in order to store them, right? And there was the pens, and I love the pens, and I wanted to do something really cool for the pens. So this is what I did for the pens, and I thought I would put the pens right here. Those will be my pens, and I think that's a pretty, pretty cool idea. So in order to do that, this is the easiest thing possible. And see, you're gonna be able to put all the pens, because I cut it, all the pens. You're gonna be able to put them and store them nicely there. And we're gonna glue this down like this. And they don't go anywhere. They're nice and tuck. And, and I thought like, oh, they look so cool, right? Right, okay. So in order to do this, you're gonna need to take one of your strips, whichever one you have, somewhere of all your cut out that you did I have one here right and this is eight and a quarter by one and a half which is 21 and a half centimeter by four centimeters right so you're gonna cut that strip and then you're gonna round it yes then you're gonna take your two inch I make circle thing right so you make your two inch circle 
So you have your two inch circle, right? You are gonna cut it in a half, like so. Okay, and what you're gonna do, you're gonna glue like a, a quarter inch down, okay? And you're gonna glue it here and there, like so. And that's what it's gonna do, it's gonna give you two big round paper clip. And then you're gonna be able to put your pens in there. And I think this is the coolest thing, isn't it? Look at that. You can, you can look at your little pen, which one you wanna use. I'm not gonna use this one. I'm gonna put it back in. See, you can put all your pens. And this, I'm gonna glue right there. All right? And that is, ladies and gents, this is your paper keeper right there. Now, what do we got left to do? Of course, you're gonna do the cover. I'm gonna work on that. More importantly, we're gonna have to do something for the spine here and a closure, and that is next. All right, so we are, I cleaned up everything, so you know, it's nice and neat, right? We need a little bit of a breather. We're doing the spine and the closure. So we're gonna do, now what I did here, right? I put my, what I wanted on my cover, I put them, ooh, this is pretty, right? This is one of the background. Anyhow, because what we're gonna put on, on for the spine and for the closure is gonna go over what I wanna put on the cover. It's gonna go at least one and a half inch on the cover, four centimeter, okay? On both sides. So you know, depending where you wanna put on your cover. Anyhow, let's get on with that. We're gonna need something to go here and something to go here. Now the good thing is, okay, first you kind of measure the thing. The spine, oh, what you got, right? And if I measure my spine, we're gonna go with one and a half, right? Because, you know, so we can like hold it a little bit, just like that, see? Just like that, right? Okay, now you just keep that in mind. And we're gonna put three binding, if I may say. So one here, one here, one here, and one here. All right, in order to do that. And I'm gonna keep this here, so this way, let me actually, if I have one kind of done, I can show you what it's gonna look like, all right? We are gonna make a few of those guys, and it's gonna go like this and like that in the back. And there's gonna be one here, one here, one here, and the closure is gonna be just the same, like this. Yes, yes, I like that. Now we're gonna get to the nitty gritty. Look at that, I made a, like a nice drawing. Those are gonna be, okay, you take whatever cut off out of your cardstock, right? Those are gonna be from here to here, right? The whole length. It is gonna be four and a half inch which is 11 and a half centimeter. So th this is gonna be the length of your rectangle. And the width from here to here is gonna be two inches, which is five centimeter. I strongly suggest you take a screenshot of that because I put every single measurement on that, but I'm just gonna go about them, right? Okay, and then as you can tell, what well, this is, an, and you're gonna need four of those and one of those like so which is gonna be actually like the same thing than that but only the one and a half inch long okay but we get to that so you do cut that rectangle now the angle here i just took a tag and just like clip it all right what else there is to know very important you got to put a mark once you got this shaped right you're gonna put a mark from the top here right here right the top right here at the one and a half inch four centimeters right you're gonna put a mark and what we're gonna do next is we are gonna score every score line okay so you pick a number any number i'm picking eight right why not Seven, seven is a lucky number, let's pick seven. Okay, and then you're gonna score every single score line that you have on your scoring board, all the way across, right? Until you reach the other little mark that you made. 
those one and a half inch on both sides this is the important score line because that's what we're gonna have like this so now what you do is you know nicely you round it up and see it gives you a nice round right it's not gonna break in in little lines it's just gonna be exactly round okay and that's kind of the effect that we want all right so you are gonna do that on every single one of them you get four of those and then you're gonna punch holes on both sides right and preferably at the same spot i took the time to write every single dimension of that little thing right right here if you take a screenshot you get everything you need four of them this one is gonna be this here right this is this. You're gonna need one, okay? So everybody get that? One, two, three, done. Okay, cool. So we got that. Now, what we're gonna do after that is we are gonna punch the holes. I mean, I'm gonna be really brief with that because it's like it's gonna be a whole night over here. Okay, you punch your holes on both sides. And then you're gonna take your little eyelet right and then you're gonna put you don't have to if you don't want to use eyelets and then you're gonna press your eyelets in every single one of them yes i did that already because oh let's not forget you're also gonna take if you shading right and just edge and everything yes yes okay look we spare ourselves i don't know like an hour video on doing those things so here they are right here now, I use the old ribbons, and then this is what I'm going to do, because I kind of like it. But the thing is, and that's what I want to show you about that, is you do have an accordion here. And it's going to be maybe moving too much. So what's going to happen is we are going to glue that. I'm going to glue it with you, okay? We're just going to put this to kind of hold it together a bit, right? So it doesn't kind of slide everywhere. All right. All right. So that's what we're doing next, putting all our little things together and then we're doing the gluing part. OK, so we did our little, you know, the four little tags. Mine looks, I mean, not tags, but like whatever that's called. Right. Mine's look like this. Yes. And then there's the extra one. Right now, the extra one, I kind of uh, deliberated with myself on what was I doing with that thing. So I decided not to put holes in it. So that's already one thing changed here. And I covered it with um, the same than my background, right? Because it's going to go somewhere here. There's a reason for that. And we get to that later on. So this I'm putting on the side right now. Now I get this, this. This, this is the closure. I'm putting it on the side right now. We're doing the spine binding. Can we call it that? Anyhow, right? So it goes like this, right? One and a half inch. All right, so the four centimeters here, right? On both sides that we score really good. Yes, and this is kind of round, right? Me, myself, and I, on this specific front cover, I'm gonna aim for the top of the print and the bottom of the print okay so this is going to be really easy for me to glue because i'm going to go from here to okay and it's going to have to fold right on my cover right here i'm going to go right from the top of my cover to here okay so this is going to be the top one this is going to be the bottom one same thing Right, I'm gonna fold right here, okay, lining up with this, the bottom of my uh, print here, and then the middle one, so I put a little mark right here, see it? And I'm gonna line kind of the middle of this, I mean, just gonna eyeball it, right? And put it here, and this is how it's gonna be glued. And then I know this one is gonna be in the middle. For the glue, okay, you're gonna put the glue from the eyelet, from under the eyelet, all the way down to that fold. Yes, you're gonna glue all of that. We can do it, we can do it. You go half inch down, so half inch down is gonna be on the top of my print here, and it's gonna have to line up like so with the cover, right? I'm gonna, I got to be able to bend it over the cover. Now, 
I'm going to be standing here pressing on it for the next 10 minutes. So I'm pretty sure we can stop here and you're going to do the same thing for this one all the way down here. Just the same. I'm going to line up with my print, but that's a half inch from the bottom, right? Do the same thing. Glue it here and then this one in the middle right there. Yes. And then we resume. Then we do the other side and then we do the closure. Okay. So happy gluing right now. Okay. So it's kind of dry and I got the three of them right here. So at this point, we're just going to flip this guy right here and then we're going to glue. Now there's no guessing at this point, right? So same thing. You're going to put your glue right here and then you put it now don't go, you know, don't, don't press and go all the way here, right? You have to hit the cover at the fold and then press. And the same thing you get to do for the other two, which means just like for the front, you're going to be kind of stuck here for a while. Okay. Make sure it's stick to the cover. Okay. And the stay, and then same thing for this one and the middle one. All right. So you did it. Yes. And they're all nice and glue front back. It's all good. Now the closure we're gonna put magnet in order to put magnet i think at this point i'm, <laughs> I'm gonna take a plastic ruler because if i take my metal ruler the magnet just go right to it okay and then you're gonna take six inches so same thing right this this is gonna be the closure so it's gonna go all the way to here to about this line right there so i'm gonna put a little bit a little mark on that line at six inches. So that's gonna give me an idea, okay, where my middle is, right? Now, this piece right there, you know, the extra piece that I decided not to put holes on, it's a long story. Anyway, I covered it, right? So what I wanna do is put the magnet right here, like so, and then put this on top of it like so, right? And then I bore the middle of this to be with this and it should be good. Yes, yes. The other thing I wanted to say was you don't have to put a closure if you don't want to put a closure. You can do an eyelet here and another eyelet right here and tidy it up if you wanted to. The reason I didn't want to do a big wrap around and everything is it's a paper keeper. You know, you want it to be accessible. You want to be able to get your stuff, right? So that's, that's pretty much the reason. I, still have to construct those things, right? You see what I'm getting at? So I don't, I don't want to have, um, you know, I mean, it's a, it's not like a mystery private thing. It's, it's a paper keeper. It's like where you put your papers anyway. So this is going to be glued like this. So this is going to go on top like this, but this is going to have the magnet on. All right. So this is going to be glued in the back like so right here. Okay. And then the top should go. Oh yes, it does. Ooh, I like that. See that? Open it. Close it. Yeah. Success. Okay. So, well, I got to glue the other side. Good. All right. Glue. And this is it. You get your paper keeper. Make sure it glues very good. Okay. And then your paper keeper is done. So the, as I said, next step is decorate or not, or put plain cardstock or use the papers you have in your kit, which I am going to do, you know, to do the belly band and the side tuck and all that. And then we do a flip through and then we have a paper keeper. Ooh. And then now, you know, we can print the kit and put the kit in and do all that. We have something to keep all our papers together. All right. I'm going to let it dry. And then we do a flip through to whatever mine is going to look inside anyway. Right? Okay. See you then.